Boys and Girls Club family, we are back for another week of safety tip. This week's safety tip, we are discussing identity protection. So you're online all the time. You're starting school back. You're going to be online even more. Let's talk about how do you protect your identity while online and throughout your day-to-day -day life. So if you want that information, you need that information, click that link below. See you soon. All right, Boys and Girls Club. We are here for another week of safety tips. And this week's safety tip, as said before, is identity protection. So what is identity protection? Why is it important to you? Let's jump right in. The first thing you want to think about, all right, and understand is that there is a social security number that is attached to you. And this number um, helps identify you and things that are attached to you, accounts and funds and things like that all are attached to your social security number. So most people have a social security card. If you do not have a social security card, when you get a social security card, I want you to start thinking about where are you gonna store this social security card and who will have this social security card? Uh, the best thing that I can suggest is that you take your social security card and that you put it in a safe somewhere or you keep it in a safe place that no one can get to it. What you don't want to do is you don't want to walk around with this social security card in your pocket, all right? You don't want to do that because you can drop it, anybody can find it, and now they have your identity. Do not keep your social security card on you. It's too easy to lose, and anybody can have your identity if they find it. The next thing you want to do is that I know you'll be in school now, and you'll be online a lot more, and you'll have a lot more access to friends and friend, uh, family, and you'll have uh, online internet sources sending you ads and things like that, asking for your information, especially my 18 year olds. You do not want to send personal information over the internet. You don't know who's on the other end. Even if you do know who's on the other end, what if they lose their device and now somebody finds their device and they have your information so you don't want to send personal information over the internet anybody can find their device um, you can't see that person uh, so you don't know exactly who you're sending it to and even if you do know who you're sending it to like i said they can always lose a device and now a stranger has your identity we don't want that to happen so we're going to follow these rules the next thing you want to do is this is a tip that I, I read and it's actually a very great tip but I never really thought about it is that you want to check the mail especially my youth all right you don't typically get a lot of mail because you're not typically paying a lot of bills some youth are don't get me wrong but typically generally uh, most youth aren't responsible for paying all of the bills so you're not getting a lot of mail to the house but if you do start to receive mail that has your name on it and it's attached to an account that you did not authorize, this is a sign of identity theft. And you want to look into that, let your parent or guardian know immediately and proceed from there. What you want to do when the mail comes, okay, let's check the mail today. If there isn't any mail for you, fine, great day, continue about your day. If there is mail for you, you want to open it, you want to read it. If you don't understand what you're reading, you want to ask an adult or somebody that you trust uh, what you're reading and is there an open account in your name. The final thing, there's a lot of things you can do, but I, I couldn't give you everything. The final thing, one of the most important things that I thought that you could do to keep your identity safe is you want to do an annual credit report check it is free all right now what this will do is it's going to tell you what account you have open in your name and so forth give you all of that information where your social security card i'm sorry a social security number has been so do your annual free credit report it'll tell you everything you need to know we're going to make sure we're not sending information online we're going to check the mail and we're going to keep those social security cards in safe places if you do all of these things your identity will be safer nothing is 100 percent but if there is a hacker out there or somebody who's trying to steal your identity we're going to make it harder for them not easier and like always we want to remain safe not sorry so love you guys see you guys soon wish you luck with school keep those identities safe see you soon